Well, hello everyone. March is underway and it's time to do some unboxings. I have my sketch box here. Now I have all my art boxes for March already. I'm gonna start with sketch box because I didn't realize I forgot to post my February sketch box. Very sorry, if I can find the footage, I'll go ahead and get a video up. If not, sorry, I skipped a month. But anyway, so we got our sketch box for March. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. And we're going to be unboxing this monthly art subscription box. I will have all the information about Sketchbox down below. I get the premiere pack in case you were wondering. And let me just get right into this unboxing. All right, I've got my wine. Go ahead, grab a snack, make yourselves comfortable so we can get into this art box. Now, if you are wondering or follow me at all, I've been away for a few weeks. I went to visit my family in Cape Coral, Florida. Beautiful. I did not want to return to Kansas City, but I had to. Um, I'm hoping whatever is in this box, I will be able to use some of these seashells I collected and had a cart home with me. I would love to do a painting or a drawing of them. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping these supplies allow me to play with all these seashells that I collected like a tourist on the beach. All right, enough of that. Let's get into this. Okay, the artwork this month. The artwork is by Paulette Joe. She is a figurative painter, and it goes on to tell you about her and her website. Okay. Here's a little sketch box card. I will read from this off to the side as we go through this. Arnhem 100% rag paper is excellent for a variety of techniques, including printmaking, drawing, lettering, and painting. Sketch box exclusive. 12 sheets, 4 by 6 and it is cotton. It is good for a variety of mediums. This is $6.98. Our sketch box sticker this month. Now we've got all kinds of things in this little sticker. Mm-hmm. By Koinor, Progresso for pencil set. This is a woodless graphite set. I like these. I love the way these feel in my hand when I'm drawing. And I it says we have HB, 2B, 4B, and 6B. Retail price of this is $8.10. We love drawing materials. Oh, isn't this adorable? We have a Derwent tinted charcoal pan set. Yes. Oh, look at this little thing. This is adorable. Now they have bigger ones. Um, I have a one that's for graphite. They're graphitant. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, I love Derwent products. I use them all the time. Now I have their big blocks. Let me get those out so I can compare the colors in this little set to the ones in the big block set. Okay, so this is what the big blocks swatch out to look like. And I read the only color that is duplicated is this white. So in this cute little pan set, we are getting white dark moss and then probably up over here we have a glowing embers and a burnt embers a thistle and a mountain blue oh i'm so excited i'm so glad these are colors i don't have in my big block set and look it's just so adorable okay enough of this me going on and on this little guy right here retails for 1950. A brush, another Sketchbox exclusive. Now, I think, have we gotten this before? Okay, it's a dagger brush. Now, I like a good dagger brush. We always get the Princeton rounds, and I like me a good dagger brush. These are really good for doing tree branches, in my opinion. I know a lot of people like to do florals and leaves with these daggers. Yeah, I like to do trees. And this right here is a fourth inch chisel tip. Price is ten twenty five. Okay, a staple in everybody's arsenal of art supplies is a kneaded eraser. This one is by Faber Castell, 
and this is $1.65. Okay, we're down to two pencils. They are different. The first one here is by Faber-Castell, a pit pencil. Uh, it's a yellow, whatever it is. Okay, so this is a pit pastel pencil in this light yellow color. It's in cream. And it says this is good for uh, doing first sketch sketches underneath our charcoal pan painting. Retail price is $2.90. Right, another Faber Castell item is their pit charcoal pencil in medium. This is two eighty five. Okay, here's what we're dealing with this month. I'm going to go ahead. I'm excited to say I might be able to pull off some seashell drawings. Uh, I think this is an awesome box just because this is the cutest thing I've ever seen, and I am so happy to have it. Um, you have no idea. So already, this is a thumbs up box for me. I don't even think we have to go to my final thoughts. But anyway, I'm going to do a little uh, painting because either these are um, water activated. So that's why we got a brush. These are water activated charcoal pans. So yeah, I'm going to do a little painting for you and I will see you in a bit. Real quick here, I wanted to talk about a few products before I forgot. This right here, the pit charcoal pencil. I can't sharpen it for the life of me. I did use my Derwent sharpener, which we all know I have a love-hate relationship with. So I thought for sure it was the pencil sharpener. I used three other pencil sharpeners after that, and the core in here is just shattered. Uh, sometimes charcoal pencils are very soft, and you have to use a knife to sharpen them. I just, um, at this point, yeah, I can't be bothered right now to sharpen it with a knife. But yeah, I'm having some problems sharpening this guy right here. Um, pastel, beautiful. These feel wonderful. If you don't have a set of woodless graphite pencils, you need to get some. They just have a wonderful balance to them. They're just, they're lovely to draw with. Anyway, okay, so now uh, this guy right here. What I can tell you for sure is this is the dark moss. And this is the Mountain Blue. Now, the one that said Glowing Embers and Burnt Embers, I really thought it was going to be some kind of a grayish charcoal color. However, these are all purple leaning. I think this is a thistle because it's pulling a little more pink. But to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Uh, and then we have Glowing Embers and Burnt Embers. These could be either one. I really don't know. Uh, all right, enough of me ranting on about the products. Let me get into doing a little piece for you. Okay, I finally found some shells that I could draw. Now, if you're into detailed work, this probably isn't going to be something you want to use. I couldn't really get that many details with a brush in these pans. However, Derwent does sell these water-soluble charcoals in what I believe is a pencil form, I think. I don't have any, but I think they do. So you could get some nice details with that and then go in with a brush later. I had fun with these. Very nice colors. I was able to somewhat get the colors of these shells down here. Uh, this one needed help with this nice yellow pastel. It worked beautifully. And yeah, I had a great time with my seashells. Um, my graphite's getting a little glare down here. So you can't, some of it's not showing up. My shadows aren't showing up. They're just showing as glares. But what can you do? It's graphite, right? Anyway, guys, so I really enjoyed this sketch box for March. March is my birthday month, so I'm expecting all of my boxes to be absolutely fantastic. So guys, if you guys get Sketchbox, let me know down below what you thought of this month's box and what you think about this cute little Derwent charcoal set. I think it's just adorable. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!